When in March 16, the newest eruption in the uh, Reckonus Peninsula in the Swartzengi volcanic system happened, it created a big bang. Two fissures opened up, and after a while, one fissure remained, and I named the craters, that's the southern one, and I named them. First, I numbered them, then based on that number, I named them. K1 was the one which lasted all through this for two months. It was erupting almost, short of one week. This uh, long period of time gave us enough time to actually measure everything, the thickness of the lava, the volume of the, and the area it covered. When it extinguished, we know that it will be back, pulling apart of the Americas and Eurasia, plate boundaries, continues, Green Dovey Grift Valley continues to extend, and we were sure a void will be created that the lava can rise. Lava, like ketchup, is a known Newtonian fluid, so it needs some encouragement in the form of the shake to actually make it fluid and flow. And here we have, yes, a huge storm of the earthquakes practically push the magma from under the Eskipatsik heron, squeeze it toward the sword thing. We could see it on the GPS data, like a toothpaste pushing toward the east. And that's the moment of the eruption. We have it here. You can see it through the MBL camera, as you can see here. It extended and created a fissure 3.4 kilometers long, bigger than anything else that we had. Nothing similar to what we had seen in this system in these uh, recent eruptions. And interesting enough, it was crossing a familiar feature. That was the K1 crater, the only surviving one, which lasted to the end. The new fissure cut through it and practically created a new crater just at the side of it. And this is the superimposition of these two maps I'm putting. This is from the previous eruption, and this is the latest eruption. And you can see that it passes through the K1 almost parallel to the fissure that we had. This is the weakest point, so it's erupted there. It's alive, it's back, K1. I name it K12. This is going to continue. It's already have formed the crater, and it may go for a longer period than a few days. Hopefully, we will see.